Like a comet blazing across the evening sky Gone too soon Like a rainbow fading in the twinkling of an eye Gone too soon Splendidly bright here one day, go one night. 
like the loss of sunlight on a cloudy afternoon. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His compassion never fails. Every morning they are anew. Jesus said, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, or anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. For to this end, Christ died and lived again. He might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. As we come to give God thanks and praise for the life and witness of our sister Joyce, let us begin by singing the hymn, What a Friend We Have in Jesus.
bow our heads in prayer, with faith in Jesus Christ. We receive the body of our sister Joyce for burial. Our sister was washed in holy baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore with confidence pray to God our Heavenly Father, the giver of life, that he raise her to perfection in the company of the saints. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O oh God of grace and glory, we remember before you this day our sister Joyce, and we thank you for giving her to us, her family and friends, to know and love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn, give us faith to see in death the gate of eternal life, so that in quiet confidence we may continue our course on earth until by your call we are united with those who have gone before through jesus christ our lord amen kindly be seated at this time we have our bible reading from isaiah chapter 25 verse 6 to 9. morning as was said the reading this morning from isaiah 25 69 and it's being read from the international revision the new revision like hmm? right new revised standard version and it reads on this mountain the lord of hosts will make for all people a feast of rich food a feast of well-aged wines of rich food filled with marrow, of well-aged wine strained clear. And he will destroy on that mountain the trowel that is cast over all peoples, the, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces, and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth for the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him so that he might save us. This is the Lord from whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Here end of the lessons. Psalm number 46, and we read the verses alternately. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Though the waters delve real, rage and swell, Though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her and that right early. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Maketh wars to cease unto the end of the earth. He breaketh the bow and cutteth the spear in sunder. He burneth the chariot in the fire. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Rest eternal grant unto her, O Lord. 
Let us all stand and sing the hymn, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine. Can be found on page 9. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while you may have to suffer various trials. Can you be seated? Verse taken from the sixth verse of Paul's first letter to Peter, chapter 1. In this you rejoice, though now for a little while you may have to suffer various trials. May I speak to you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sometimes in life we wonder and, I, and we ask ourselves the question, why God allow his faithful followers to encounter much pain and suffering? And some of us reflect on the words from scripture that allude to the fact that God does not give a person no more than they can bear. Or the words from the psalmist that reminds us grieving may endure in the night, but joy comes in the morning. Death is one of those situations when we question this suffering some more. And as part of us has been taken away and left a void that in most cases can never be filled by anyone else. But in 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 6 and 7, the writer somewhat attempts to explain such reasons for the Christian perspective. 
In essence, the writer is saying that our faith is tested based on how we endure times of trials and tribulations. The scripture is filled with many situations where God had allowed his followers to go through some of the worst conditions just because they all proclaim and stand up for the Lord. We are told of the story of Job in particular, who was a very wealthy person, as we know, one who feared God. And we see in Job chapter 1 and verse 1 to 5, and also in verse 6 through to 22, we see the Lord having a discussion with the devil in relation to Job and the testing of Job's integrity. In chapter 2 of Job, we see Job being seriously tested and he was given advice from anyone and everyone to curse God. Discontinue the relationship with God. Because it, no, it makes no sense whatsoever going through all of this. But in the end, Job lost everything the earth could have given him for trusting in God. And in the end, in chapter 42, when Job was down and out, the Lord came to Job and restored his wealth, restored his fortune, and many more because of his faith, his integrity, and steadfastness. The Lord was pleased, and he blessed him in a special way. And when we focus and remember our Lord Jesus Christ, his great suffering and persecution from the religious leaders, his subsequent scourging, and crucifixion some wonder why the only begotten Son of God endured much suffering and tribulation although many eyes were clouded in we all are living testimonies that Jesus suffering for us in an expression to show us his love God made a great sacrifice for the benefit of all of us and so first Peter chapter 1 and verse 6 and 7 are words that seek to bring the faithful to an understanding that suffering for God is not suffering in vain sometimes to test the strength of anything there must be a rigorous testing and we must not mix up a testing that is destined to you or for you to fail from a test that allows you to go back to the drawing board time to reflect and develop into a more durable being a more stronger person and so as we reflect and as we come to say our final farewell to our sister Joyce we also come to give God thanks for her life and the impact and memories that others will have on her there is a call to hold dear to the things of God and recognize that in this life is a transient sojourn nothing in this life is forever but the grace and love of almighty god the examples of job and jesus and the words from first peter chapter 1 and verse 6 and 7 are words of consolation for us in those times when we think we have lost and we are down to nothing God is ensuring us that he is able and he is up to something that we least expect. The things that we hold dear on the earth, my brothers and sisters, 
though they may be near and dear to us, cannot equate to the blessings and the restoration that we would receive from Almighty God. And so today, as we prepare to lay our sister to rest, let us all remember that this is a rough period that we are going through, one of grieving and sadness. But remember, Almighty God is there to bring you through victoriously. Let this be a learning experience for each and every one of us. Let this experience then strengthen us in the grace and love of Almighty God. And pray that it will take us as we go out into the secular world that we then will be able to touch the lives of people that we come into contact with. My friends, always remember that in this you rejoice, though now for a little while, while you may have to suffer various trials. Amen. Let me take this opportunity to extend my deepest condolences to the family and friends of our sister Joyce. My prayer and hope that as you grieve and study and reflect on her life, that you too would be touched by it. And being touched by it, you'll be strengthened by it in one way or the other. May she continue to rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Let us pray. Together we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Stay our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Grant us, Lord, the wisdom and the grace to use aright the time that is left to us here on earth. Lead us to repent of our sins, the evil we have done, and the good we have failed to do. Strengthen us to follow in the steps of your dear Son in the way that leads to the fullness of eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us commend our sister Joyce Dorothy to the mercy of God, our Maker and Redeemer. Heavenly Father, by your mighty power, you have given us new life in Christ Jesus. We entrust Joyce Dorothy to your merciful keeping. In the faith that leads, in the faith of Jesus Christ, your Son, O Lord, died and rose again to save us, and is now alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit in glory forever. Amen. Rest eternal grant unto her, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon her. May she rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Let us all stand and sing the hymn, And Can It Be? And Can It Be?
together we say the non limitus. Lord, now let us, thou thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people to be alike with the Gentiles and to be the glory of your people Israel. Rest eternal grant unto her, O Lord, that light petrol shine upon her. Having taken away the sin of the world, Christ will open the kingdom of heaven to all who believe in his name, saying, Come, O blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you. Into paradise may the angels lead you. At your coming may the martyrs receive you and bring you into the holy city, Jerusalem. Let us pray. Man born of a woman has but a short time to live. 
Like a flower, he blossoms and then withers. Like a shadow, he flees and never stays. In the midst of life, we are in death. To whom can we turn for help? But to you, Lord, who are justly angered by our sins. Lord God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us from the bitter pains of eternal death. You know the secrets of our hearts. Your mercy, hear our prayer. Forgive us our sins. And at our last hour, let us not fall away from you. Ensure and certain hope of resurrection to eternal life to our Lord Jesus Christ. We commend to Almighty God our sister Joyce Dorothy, and we commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. We beseech you in your infinite goodness to give us grace to live in your dear love and to die in your favor. That when your well beloved son shall come again in judgment, both this our sister Joyce Dorothy and we ourselves may be found acceptable in your sight. Grant this for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, with whom still live the spirits of those who die in the Lord, and with whom the souls of the faithful are in joy and felicity, we give you heartfelt thanks for the good examples of all your servants, who, having finished their course in faith, now find rest and refreshment. May we, with all who have died in the true faith of your holy name, have perfect fulfillment and bliss in your eternal and everlasting glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, O Lord, to all who are bereaved the spirit of faith and courage, that they may have strength to meet the days to come without with steadfastness and faith, not so as those without hope, but in thank for remembrance of your great goodness and in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those they love. And this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Unto God's most gracious mercy and protection we commit her. The Lord bless her and keep her. The Lord make his face to shine upon her and be gracious unto her. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon her and give her his peace. Now and forevermore. Amen.
as we sing that hymn. Great is thy faithfulness.
Come we that love the Lord. Come we that love the Lord and let our joys be known. Join in a song with sweet accord. Join in a song with sweet accord. And thus surround the throne and thus surround the throne. We're marching to Zion, beautiful, beautiful Zion. We're marching upward to Zion, the beautiful city of God. The hill of Zion yields a thousand sacred sweets before. Happy day that fits my choice on thee, my Savior and my God.
Let us pray. Oh Lord, support us all the day along this troubled life. Until the shades lengthen and the evening comes. The fever of life is over and our work is ended. Then, Lord, in your mercy, grant unto your servant joy, a holy rest and peace at the last. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Go in peace and continue to serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. May she rest in peace. Amen. Though I'm missing you, I'll find a way to get through, living without you, cause you were my sister, my strength, and my pride. Zone.